Welcome to my channel, Aligning With My Soul. Um, I hope everyone's keeping well and you're just doing well and concentrating on your spiritual journey or ascension. Um, I'll be really interested to know about where your energy's at at the moment, so leave comments down below because the last few days my energy's been all over the place. This, this heavy energy, sad energy, um, just very negative, you know, but, and very powerful. So. It's been a struggle for me the last uh, couple of days, so I'll be interested to see how um, you're all feeling, the viewers, how you're feeling and where your energy's at and what you've been, your challenges that you've been having to deal with. So I'm going to do a masculine reading because that's what my channel was based on, is connecting with the masculine energy and um, I use the term masculine, feminine, just to make it easier for you to understand and for me to say him, her, um, just put it into your situation and your circumstances, how it absolutely, you know, how it resonates in your situation, so don't be offended by it. Um, and it's going to be, you know, this reading I do, the readings I do are for people that are in some kind of separation or a challenge with their twin flame. Um, and when I mean separation, I mean preparation, when you're not with the physical person and, and you're both preparing for, you know, being back together, you know, coming to become, you know, whole in the actual physical world, in the 3D. So, um, take it how it resonates this reading to you. It's, um, you know, there's lots of different energies, um, so this reading might not be for you, so... Um, just click straight off of it if it's not for you and it's a timeless reading so if you have clicked on it usually it means that you do need to get a message from um, this reading what I'm actually saying today what I'm tapping into the energy of the masculine so I'm going to do it's going to, it's going to be too long I'm just going to get one card from each deck of my deck so I'm going to get one from the Archangel uh, or cards first of all so um, where is what is going on with the Divine Masculine, where is his energy, um, what is his, what is God assisting masculine, what are you assisting the masculine with at the moment, God, and um, how is he feeling in general towards his Divine Feminine, so what are you assisting Divine Masculine with and what's his energy, there's a card that just flipped out so I'm going to use that, I'll turn that over in a minute after I split the deck and choose another one too. So I'm interested to see what this reading brings today. Right, let's see what we've got. Angel Therapy from Archangel Raphael. And look, it's the one that dropped out. You know what to do. So I'll put those like that. And then I'm going to get another card from the Daily Guidance from um, Doreen Virtue. So where is the Divine Masculine energy at the moment? What are you assisting with God? How is he feeling towards his Divine Feminine? Is he still in stuck energy or is he moving forwards? The whole of 2020 has been very um, powerful energy for the Masculine having to deal with lots of internal stuff so where is this energy at what would you like the viewer to know about your about their masculine today and thank you so much for all the support that i've been getting much and i really do appreciate it it means the world to me uh trustworthy guidance which we had, funny enough, from Archangel Michael, that message, Trustworthy Guidance, the other day. Let's get the Archangel Michael um, deck and the shuffle and get the message from that. So what is the Divine Masculine's energy? How is he feeling? How is God assisting the Divine Masculine? And how is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine, his Divine Feminine? The viewer that's watching, what a message is there.
Right, and then I'm going to get a Oracle card from Ambika Waters of um, Oracle Deck. So I'm always drawn to use the Oracle Deck because it gives you more of a clearer, sincere, genuine message, a deeper spiritual message of what's going on with the Divine Masculine. So I'm just going on with masculine energy at the moment. And what are you assisting him with, God? Are you helping him and how's he feeling towards his divine feminine? Right. Spiritual growth. A lot of spiritual growth going on. And then when I've read these the cards, I'm gonna get and I'm tapping into the energy of the masculine and how he's feeling, you know, those energies out here, the little messages that I've done myself and how he would communicate with you if he had the opportunity and how he's communicating with you in the 5D. So let's start with the card reading. Angel therapy, Archangel Raphael, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. So he's been encouraged to actually um, give his cares and worries to the angels at the moment, um, all the things that are allowing him to feel, you know, bad and just a heavy energy, I suppose, that he's feeling, burdens. Um, so he's been, God is assisting him and helping him, hands everything over to the angels as well. Um, so he could be feeling lots of worry and you know really heavy energy I would say at the moment and I feel that there's a lot of it's heavy energy at the moment um, and we're coming up in the next few days as a full moon so lots of things always happen then so hopefully lots of things will shift and this energy will go but it has been very intense for me personally so divine masculine could be feeling very um, weighed down with all of his cares and worries so God is helping him and assisting him with trying to encourage to hand it over again and put trust in God and the angels. And when you can do that, you do feel that have this lighter energy. So the other card that came out was, you know what to do. And that's from Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So he knows what to do. He needs to ask for help. He needs God's help hundreds of worries and cares over and um, if you go within and trust your inner knowledge that is always the best answer your gut and um, he's been encouraged to act, actually act upon how he's feeling um, so any ideas or how you know wanting to make moves towards divine feminine he's been encouraged to actually act about it without any delay because trust what you're feeling and know that the knowledge you have on it is correct don't doubt it is what he's been guided you know at the moment so god is assisting him so he knows the answer everything's the answers within you know for us all so he's been guided to do that and here again which you know it all aligns with itself again it's in trustworthy guidance you've received one a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers this idea is a real and trustworthy one you can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for me and ask ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So God is trying to show him that the, the angels and God is there for him and the ideas and the thing you know that he wants to do is like come forth towards his divine feminine and deal with this situation is a tr is trustworthy. He can go with his trust himself, you know go within and trust that actually how you're feeling is fine and you can come forwards and you'll be supported when you do that you'll be supported and it does seem to me at the moment the readings are very much the same where it is still stuck where he's having to learn to actually trust and go within and trust himself to know that it is okay to come forwards um, and again we've got have confidence from Archangel Michael Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realise that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity and abundance and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. He's, he's not feeling 
he isn't feeling confident and he's been God is trying to show him to be confident basically he's, he needs to have the confidence to have the strength and the courage you know he's got his shield up here and he's got his armor on so he's still in um protecting himself and still stuck and looking for this strength and courage to come forwards so i know it's very frustrating for the viewer that's watching because you feel like that this has been going on for such time but it does take time and it's all got to be done in divine timing so um and there's deep stuff that needs to be healed you know or acknowledged or you know just to the inner stuff that he needs to do and he needs to trust himself love himself um enough to get the courage and the confidence to come towards his divine feminine and he needs to realize that he's divine he has got wisdom and it's all within um and that to trust divine timing as well um and when he can do that that's when the abundance and in every single way in health finances love everything in every um, area of his life will be abundant but he needs to trust himself and love himself and know that how he's feeling is fine and he already has the strength and the courage to do this with God's guidance because he's not going to be alone God will be helping him and he's been assisted by angels too so um, beautiful reading again but so for some of you it could be very boring where oh yeah we've heard this all before it's still not moving but you know we are coming up to a full moon like I said and when that when there's you know moon cycle lots of things do shift um, and cycles end and there's always new beginnings and things as well so try and keep your energy in a good place as well in this time so you're sending the right energy to your divine masculine because you're energy because you're the conscious one the positive polarity goes to your divine masculine so his energy can't go to you it's just your energy going to him so you need to stay present and control your energy as well so that message is definitely for me um today because my energy has just been a bit erratic and very heavy and um yeah all over the place basically so i need to listen to that uh, spiritual growth so this is all his spiritual growth the way I become spiritual is simply by becoming myself so he needs to know that it's okay to be himself that he's beautiful enough in every way inside and out and then when he can feel that that's when he gets the strength to know that everything's okay he'll feel God's love when he can do that basically so there's a lot of spiritual growth going on with all of these things that are happening these cards that have showed up so um don't be disheartened by this uh, reading because I know it's just been very the same energy for some time now but it is progressing you know all the time even though you can't see things happening the 3d things are happening big time the spiritual growth in the 5d for this divine masculine the masculines that I'm kicking into today so I'm um, going take it how it resonates in your situation like I keep saying let's get some energy and the little messages that I've been getting that I've made myself forgive me he wants you to forgive him because you could be in a situation where he's been quite harsh in the past or there's been some kind of situation that he you know you need to forgive he wants to know that you forgive him and forgiveness is a big um, obstacle you have to come across in your spiritual journey your ascension so if you can feel, if you can forgive, that will be a massive shift in your energy and his energy. So, and he'll be able to forgive himself too, which I know it's very difficult for me just to say it to you as if it's easy, but you have to go really deep within to help this situation of forgiveness. And he wants you to forgive him. So there could be a situation, like I say, that where it's not been too good and uh, he's done something that you need to forgive. So, let's see what other message. Divine timing. Everything is going to be when, you know, the divine, about divine timing. And we've had that in this, this reading here, I've mentioned a couple of times. So, it's all about divine timing. So, don't rush this, don't force this. Just let, trust God and divine timing, basically. 
Um, and um, he's got to realise and connect with God um, and trust divine timing too. So everything's perfect really. And as I say, it doesn't seem like things are happening, but they are, you know, they are baby footsteps maybe, but it's all moving towards being, you know, complete, you know, becoming whole. Um, and I know that it's hard when you, you feel like you're separated from the physical person, but you're not ever separated from your divine masculine because you're one soul, that's the whole point. Um, so just remember that that will help you as well on your spiritual journey. Try not to think about the uh, physical person, think about yourself and your spiritual journey because you're not separated from the physical person. Let's see what message he would like to communicate the masculine in, if he had the opportunity. What he would say to you if he had the opportunity to communicate and what he's actually communicating in the 5D. I love you. Beautiful. He loves you. Which could be a big deal for some of you, you know, because maybe you haven't actually heard him ever say that he loves you, or he's showing that he doesn't love you. So that is really beautiful that you're getting that message. He wants to, you to know that he does love you, whatever he said in 3D or whatever situation you're in. I've loved you for a thousand years again. So both of this, these messages about him saying that he, he, he loves you and he's loved you for a thousand years. So beautiful, beautiful reading again and to end the reading for the beautiful person that's watching is I'm going to be doing the reminder cards to <coughs> bring forth your beautiful divine inner spirit and to help you focus on your ascension, give you the strength to help you in whatever situation you're in. So what message would you like God for the viewer that's watching today? What message would you like them? You know, what message have you got for them today? What would you like to help them with or want them to know? Please, God. stage beautiful and the message is life is a production it's time to start directing your own production instead of being directed think of the world as being your stage and you're creating your own production imagine who you want to be in the future where you will be and what you will be doing and the action to take is start thinking about what you think you'd like to happen in your life production actively think about what your experiences and people you would like in your life and start to make a list of all the things, wonderful things. Start to visualise all the different things, really feel it and imagine how it would feel and look, etc. I am the director of my own production of life and I create greatness in all I do. So you need to know how great you are and how beautiful you are and start being thinking about what you actually do want in your life. And be careful where that takes you as well, because obviously the energy you're going to be in is, oh, I want my divine masculine in my life, but that's not going to help you come together with your masculine at all. So you need to think about how you want your life to be independently, basically, how you want to, maybe your career, um, where you want to live, you know, what are your goals in life? Write them down, start visualising them, start feeling them and imagining it. Um, and say to yourself, I am the director of my own production of life and I create greatness in all that I do. You don't need others to help you with that. All you need is yourself and know that they, your dreams can come true. And try not to just focus on the masculine, like I said, because that's just going to push him away. So because your energy is just going to be into that clingy mode again. Um, and just stay in the present and think about you know what you do want to do with your life and write some ideas down to help you with that because you are capable of making anything happen you know all the things
things that you want to do or plans that you want to do you know there might be you know what you want might want to go to travel different places of the world or um what do you actually plan on doing with your life so you need to sit down and start thinking about that okay guys i hope you enjoyed the reading and i hope you're coping well and focusing on your self and your spiritual journey um i know how challenging and painful it is and i've been through a couple of days myself of feeling the pain again so um i do understand i'm not saying that this is easy um if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe subscribe i really would appreciate it and it will encourage me to carry on doing this channel and doing the reading so thank you so much for all the love and support that i've been getting recently too and um, i'm sending you all my love support and light and i'm looking forward to doing another video very soon take care bye